Hello. In this video, we're gonna replace the thermal paste of this uh, Acer laptop. The model is uh, Acer, Acer Aspire uh, S3. The exact model is MS2346. We have to replace the thermal paste and clean the fan. So let's start. The first thing, of course, we have to take out all the screws on the back, and the back should come off. So shouldn't be that hard. Uh, let's start. We have to remove the cover here for the SD card. After that, we're gonna remove all the screws. They all should be the same size, I think. Yeah, so far. <coughs> Now we have to separate the plastic, use something sharp just to slide and after that use some prime tool. Now let's try to remove the cover, lift it from the bottom and to this side because we have a HDMI connector here and we have the Wi-Fi module. Now you can leave this on the side because the only thing we have to do is just clean the paste. We're gonna disconnect the battery just in case. Like this. <sighs> now we have to disconnect the fan. We have only three screws here which are holding the actual cooler. So This is it. It's a pretty small cooler. Now let me clean the the old paste. At first I am using a dry q tip because the old paste stacks on it very easy and you don't mess a lot on the board like this. Now we're going to use some alcohol and we'll clean the rest. We're going to do the same here with the cooler side. We're going to use some alcohol. Now let me use a brush and clean the fan a little bit because Okay, let's open it and check because there may be some dust inside. We have some small screws here, three. <clears throat> now, a lot of people on the videos, they ask why don't I replace the thermal pads when I replace the thermal paste. Uh, you can see there is some chunks here so usually if the thermal pads are okay I don't replace them because I think the factory ones are very good quality and it's better to leave the original ones instead of putting something cheap so yeah Thermal pads doesn't dry the way thermal paste is drying, so if you if your thermal pad is okay, 
like for example this one uh, you can leave it like this otherwise you have to figure out the thickness of the pad and so on so I personally don't replace them even on the video cards and laptops haven't got any problems so far so it's up to you now we did clean the fan now let's put the new paste we're gonna apply only on the CPU because the chipset is with a with a thermal pad don't put too much just a tiny layer like this and now just we're gonna just put back the CPU before doing so you can move the cover a little bit left to right in order for the paste to get even on the CPU and just tie the screws back like this let me connect the fan now we have to connect the battery someone opened the laptop before because the battery connector is a little bit damaged like this and now the only thing we had to do is just let me tie the screws on the hinges a little bit and usually this cable should go before the sticker here in order to close it properly now just Put it like this and make sure the HDMI is connected properly here and basically that's the whole thing now the boring part of putting all the screws back sorry customers come in the shop from time to time We have to put back the cover and that should be it. Let's see, does the laptop have any battery or I have to charge it? No, no battery. Just let me test.
Yeah. Yeah, it's got some Linux on it, but basically laptop is working, fan is working, it's a i7 third generation. I gotta clean the laptop from the outside a little bit. So basically that's the whole video. I hope you like it. Hit the like button or subscribe to the channel if you like. Bye bye for now.